US Mobile's new headquarters. Uh, come say hey and grab a coffee. That is way too much. <laughs> that is way too much. I'm sitting here at US Mobile's new headquarters on day one of the office coming in. Uh, me and Quan behind the camera have been here for a full week, setting things up, working with some contractors, putting the new stew together, which is dope. But this is the first day where everybody can come in. The office is in a presentable enough form to have the whole team in here. Every single team across US Mobile is super, super busy this week leading up to the Dark Star public launch. So we're just gonna go around and film everything. I think second take nailed it. There wasn't a part of our organization that wasn't involved with this. The total revamp of our UI, because now we have three networks, getting our logistics team ready to start set, sending in extra starter kits, scanning them into our inventory, packaging them, you're talking about US Mobile, at this point ships tens of thousands of these a month. From an ops perspective, getting ready for it. Me personally getting ready for hundreds of our customers to ask questions. Close to 100 people between AT&T and Ericsson that were involved. It's, it's ridiculous the amount of work and people that went into launching this and, and somehow everything has been going really smooth. Awesome, thank you. Levels? Yeah, we're flying. This is Juan's invention. So the new studio is almost set up. We finally got the AC working. Our lights are up. Ready for a new podcast. It's looking pretty good. Functionality, UI, everything. So QA was very busy during Darkstar. Shout out to all the beta testers. Yes. Great job. <laughs> my name is Ching Yuan and my role is a product designer. Uh, Elena over there told me that you were very busy. Is that true? Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> How many different pages did you work on leading up to this? I have like three to four projects going on. Uh, me and Red Run are working on this uh, notification uh, center implementation. And these are my design. I won't take the credit for Darkstar. I think Usme and Andy, they work most for the Darkstar. Uh, I really like the SIM card design. I really like how we uh, brainstorming was the theme of the Dark Star. I broke something. It didn't take long. <laughs> Your monitor was disconnected for like the first five bed. seconds. <laughs> oh, and that's, yeah, you know what it's doing? Move quickly, innovate, build new things, get new features out there. Um, it feels like uh, a fast moving roller coaster. That's exactly how we like to work. Today and today. I had to stay at home for half the day because my refrigerator died. I had to wait for the uh, for the repairman to come in. Hi. Now to some way into the office. Uh, this morning worked on that new networks page video. I also got in touch with Ahmed's wife Maha to surprise him at our launch party. I've been telling Ahmed we're gonna do this mini doc all about 10 years of US Mobile. But what I think would make that so much more special is if we surprised him with special messages from all his close friends, family, colleagues, and people who've seen him through these past 10 years. So you get everything we need to put this all together for next week. I'm Fezan. I'm the VP of growth. Okay, we'll have a dark star network. How do we create awareness? How do we present it on our website, in our communications, all of that? How do we do things like uh, that create buzz like the Cybertruck giveaway. It's in a sense sort of helping to take it over the finish line and making sure that everything that users see is uh, presented well and clearly and in a compelling way. I have to say, in the grand scheme of things, of all the things we've released at US Mobile and things that I work on US Mobile, this is going somewhat more organized and more calmer. <laughs> so I'm feeling a bit more confident than I usually would. <laughs> you know, it's last week. Um, we pretty much know what we're going to put out there. At this point, it's more about to test every single thing, you know, check every nook and cranny, make sure everybody across our like 600 or so people organization are all on the same page. I've always had this thing on my desk. This is my signature desk item. This is the only thing that I use <laughs> to personalize my space. It's a rickshaw. It's from, uh, I think I've got it from Karachi. Uh, and this has been on my desk uh, almost since I've been at US Mobile. It's like my little personalization item. <laughs> Hey, 
dude. What's your name? Uh, so I was gonna avoid this. My name's Matt Lieberman, and I am office manager for US Mobile. Isn't there another part of your title? Uh, barista extraordinaire. Yes, sir. You know, we had the opportunity to make really great coffee here, and when you have no rules and boundaries, you can kind of make better coffee than you can get any cafe, so that's what we did. This morning, we're driving to Ahmed's house to shoot a promo, uh, which is something we definitely don't get to do every week, but it's always pleasant to just get a break from the city, spend some time up there with Ahmed. We're going up there to shoot the Cybertruck promo because we're giving that away. Um, hopefully we'll get to go and take it for a test ride. Bare minimum, we're gonna hop inside and see how it feels. We'll see what happens. We're also here to get the video clips from Maha and film some interviews to celebrate 10 years of US Mobile. That video will premiere at the launch party we're having when Dark Star comes out. First five minutes were really bad. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm just talking to, a, to someone. Like, a proud phone. Ah, uh -huh. it's actually my cyber truck. I was a day one reservation holder. At least have an eagle, because I mean, come on, you guys, you gotta represent. Like, that's what we have built US Mobile around. Like, it's one of those things where you try to start driving Tesla, and there are like so many of these features in there that you never know if you're not a Tesla. Yeah driver and that's what makes you an evangelist of the brand. You download the app and then you see the auto top-ups, the analytics, yeah. the user management, just the ability to scale your service up and down, seamlessly go in and out, seamlessly go between networks and you're like, it's hard to explain that. So many good choices. I'm gonna ask if Nuri could come, but I'm not sure if he's coming. A lot of they spent in the uh, our old office in that conference room of designing the workflows. You know, I'm always pretty amazed by the fact that you know how much we've been able to deliver quarter on over quarter. The last really two months, I was just saying like week over week, hey, I, I know we're putting in long hours. It's going to be worth it, etc. So I, I think it was really just a, a good, you know, celebration for the team to get that done. And this is just an added bonus. I mean, how many times do you come into an office and have a paddling pool? For unlimited talk, text, and data. If this is not the best ad we've ever shot, then I don't know what is. One pool, as many lines as you want, US Mobile. Very historic day in US Mobile history, guys. It really is just the beginning. Thank you to our engineering team. Thank you to our product team. Thank you to our QA team. There's so many of you guys, you know, Andrew, I know leading the way, there's so many of you guys that have played such an important role in being owners of every different part of our platform. We're actually working on telling that story in full in the documentary. Uh, and they have uh, created a trailer video for it. Now we're doing 10 years of US Mobile. It's easy to come across smart people but it's not easy to come across smart people that you want to be around and enjoy being around. In my heart of hearts, knew that Emma is gonna figure it out. He, he hustles. He is always so positive. Because so many people from so many cultures are coming together every day to work for one cause, which is to build the best wireless company in the world. You need leadership like this. It's not when things are good, it's when things go bad as well. You need a true leadership to another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Unless like I died before then, no work. Congratulations on 10 years, we love you. I'm also in a very big way reminded today that we wouldn't be here without all of your work. We wouldn't be. At some point, the company evolved from having one grand vision that I had when we were five people to distributed micro visions that everyone in the team has. And that is what makes us incredible.
that's our week. Leak in the life at US Mobile before a massive launch like Darkstar. It was super hectic, more busy than usual, but at the end of the day, I think it's all worth it because we got to celebrate with everybody, just crossing the finish line of that massive achievement of becoming a super carrier. You know, having our third network is a feat that no one else in America has done, and we're privileged enough to get to work together to accomplish that. And we even got to drive a Cybertruck, which you can win. Make sure you check that out and enter. I'm super happy that we got to go behind the scenes like this with you guys. It's the first time we've really lifted the veil like this and we're certainly gonna do it again. So let us know who you wanna see, what you wanna see. We'll turn the camera around and uh, we'll get it done. Check back in soon. We'll have some more fun stuff on the way. See ya. Dark star loves warp 5G and Wait, light Anthony, speed too. Oh well, he's looking for Anthony. All right, how was that jingle? <laughs>